You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, asserted that equestrian sports, most notably the beauty of purebred Arabian horses competition, enjoy the care and attention of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and affirms His Majesty's keenness to continue supporting this sport. His Highness also indicated that the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, has made many contributions to the continued prosperity of the sport of purebred Arabian horses. This came during the launch of the Bahrain Championship for Local Production, organized by the Royal Federation under the patronage of the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, with a wide participation of owners, breeders, and various local stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated that the Bahrain Championship for Local Horses Production is an extension of the continuous successes achieved by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation in organizing various championships during the past period and in line with the vision aimed at affirming the kingdom's status in these championships as well as to assert the ability of the Bahraini owner to compete and achieve advanced positions in this competition. For his part, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, stressed that the Federation is keen to diversify the various activities in the current season, in line with the vision of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to continue the prosperity of equestrian sports in the Kingdom, especially the sport of Arabian horses. His Highness Sheikh Isa explained that the Royal Federation is always keen to organize various tournaments for the beauty of Arabian horses, as the Kingdom of Bahrain is known since its ancient times as the largest stronghold of purebred Arabian horses. And and still is to this day. His Highness Sheikh Isa wished all participants every success. The horses demonstrated their beauty and elegance in the tournament amid an exciting competition between owners and breeders, and the exhibitors played a prominent role in displaying the aesthetics of the horses. The Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized yesterday afternoon the 22nd race of this season, which was held for the National Bank of Bahrain's Cup at the club's racetrack in Al Rafah area in Sakhir. The race was attended by a number of their highnesses, representatives of the National Bank of Bahrain, the official sponsor of the race, and an audience of horse racing enthusiasts. The winners were crowned with the trophies of the race as the CEO of Strategic Accounts at the National Bank of Bahrain, Abdul Aziz Al Ahmed, presented the cups of the sixth and seventh round to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The third round a cup awarded to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the first round cup went to the winner Yusuf Al Bouainin. The Director of Corporate Communication at the National Bank of Bahrain, Hisham Abul Fath, presented the fifth round cup to the winning owner Mohammed Khalid Abdul Rahim. Representative of the National Bank of Bahrain presented the fourth round cup to the winning owner Mohammed Khalid Abdul Rahim, and the second round cup to the winner Hisham Al Haddad. The Chief Executive Officer of the Primary Health Care Centers, Dr. Jalila Sayyid Jawad, conferred the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit upon the affiliates of Primary Health Care Centers in line with His Majesty the King's order and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to honor frontline heroes in recognition of the tireless efforts they are making for the sake of the nation. Dr. Jalila said that the pride of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the dedicated national efforts exerted by all health professionals in the front lines of the fight against the novel coronavirus include competencies from the health sector, the Bahrain Defense Force, the Interior Ministry and all allied parties as a catalyst for continuing teamwork in order to enhance the Kingdom's progress march and achieve national goals. She commended the efforts exerted by all employees of primary health care centers and the great sacrifices they are making to protect the health and safety of everyone in the Kingdom. She congratulated the recipients of the prestigious medal, urging them to carry on delivering quality health care services to the citizens and residents. The honorees expressed deep pride in being conferred with the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit, noting that the medal will motivate them to be more dedicated in serving the kingdom. The Spring of Culture Festival is kicked off as every year on February the 25th, coinciding with the Arab Tourism Day, which was adopted when Manama was declared the capital for Arab tourism for 2013, coinciding with the birthday of the Arab traveler Ibn Battuta. The Bahrain National Theatre celebrated Arab Tourism Day with a contemporary performance called Akhenaten, Dust of Flight, choreographed and directed by Walid Auni. The tale of an ancient pharaoh, Akhenaten, was depicted through contemporary dances and theatrical scenes, taking audiences on a journey 3,000 years into history. On this occasion, President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, said the Spring of Culture Festival reaffirms the importance of cultural work, and after two years of communicating with the audience from a distance, the festival finally comes face to face. Sheikh Hamay added that culture is a global 
global language that is used to communicate with different people and is a tool to build bridges between the Kingdom of Bahrain and civilizations from around the world. Sheikh Hamey also said that the 16th edition of the festival will present its patrons, citizens, residents, visitors and various segments of society a diversified program celebrating literature, music, art, design and theatre. She expressed pleasure in launching the Golden Jubilee, commemoration, or rather commemorating 50 years from the Bahrain National Theatre as the Kingdom celebrates many jubilees that formed stations for Bahrain's modern civilizational achievements. Sheikh Hamey said that she was pleased to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the National Theatre, all thanks to the generous support of the first patron of culture, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. She explained how the continuous work with partners of the Culture Authority from civil and private institutions presents a renewed season of joy, reviving hope in our ability to overcome various challenges. She also thanked the sponsors and supporters of the Spring of Culture Festival and its contributors from Arab and foreign embassies. It was wonderful. I didn't expect it to be so awesome, but my friend dragged me for it, <laughs> and I have to say I enjoyed it really well. I enjoyed it as well. It was a great performance with the music they chose, especially with one of my favorite movies, the music they chose from The Fifth Element. I think the dancing and the, the, the change of scenery and the combination of the dancing with the music and the background of it, all of it together was a great uh, show. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, the theater, it was really nice. Uh, the show, I the actors were all nice. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,230,571 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,210,114 had taken the second, and 962,485 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 27,336 with 4,077 recoveries, 2,599 registered new cases and one death. There are 69 active cases receiving treatment and 14 patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,448 total deaths while 478,190 have recovered from the virus. The ministry offered its deepest condolences to the family of the deceased and urged everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task force for combating the coronavirus. The Arab Coalition said a booby-trapped drone that took off from Sana'a's International Airport fell in the Jidyan village in Jaisan, Saudi Arabia without causing injuries or damage. The Coalition reported that the drone attack was deliberately targeting civilians. The Arab Coalition conducted 28 targeted strikes in Yemen's Hajja on Wednesday in an attempt to deter the Iranian-backed Houthis. The targeted strikes resulted in the destruction of 14 military vehicles. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia urged its citizens in Ukraine to reach out to the embassy in Kiev as soon as possible as tensions escalated following the Russian invasion. The ministry said considering the developments in Ukraine, the Kingdom's embassy in the Ukraine calls on all citizens who are present in the country and who have not gotten in touch with the embassy during the past evacuation phase to communicate with the embassy as soon as possible. Russian forces on Thursday fired missiles at several cities in Ukraine and, la and landed troops on its coasts after President Vladimir Putin authorized what he called a special military operation in the east. The United Arab Emirates called at a meeting of the UN Security Council for an immediate de-escalation and cessation of hostilities in Ukraine. At the council session, the UAE's permanent representative to the United Nations, Lana Nisleba, highlighted the UAE's readiness to work with members of the Security Council to de-escalate the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. The UAE expressed particular alarm at the consequences for, civilian, for civilians rather, present in the Ukraine, as well as for the region and for the international community. UAE's permanent representative said that being from the Middle East, the UAE is intimately aware of the critical importance of a stable regional security environment and of de-escalation, diplomacy and dialogue.